1977, Michael published a paper called Anorexia Cybernetic Perspective, I think, in Family Process. And uh, I am told by Chris Beals, who reviewed the paper and who was then professor of psychiatry at Columbia at the time, that this was the first paper ever in the world to show positive results with the problem of anorexia. Upon which, the and it wasn't the director of psychiatry, it was the assistant director, because the uh, director was overseas, uh, called Michael into his office and said, um, you're a social worker, I forbid you from um, working with uh, families with, because that's a psychiatric problem and you're a social worker. But you can imagine Michael had a, a reputation in Australia uh, South Australia, and families kept referring them to him. And the first um, tack uh, the assistant director did was to r steal his chairs. So there were nowhere to sit. In the end, uh, um, he did, they, they did win, but the people just sat on the floor. And, um, um, and he, this guy couldn't stem the, the flood of referrals to Michael, no matter what despite the fact that he was a, you know, a lowly social worker. And then obviously he went and talked to an HR person and got, well, how can you fire a person who's got the best results in the world? That would be very difficult, wouldn't it? So he obviously got advice. What you do is give them a job that they hate and that they will then you know, resign. So what he thought would do the trick was you can't, the only referrals you can see are young people who've had a two-year, uh, they've had a, a endured two years of failures, that was the criterion, to meet with Michael. And um, that, under those, situa under those circumstances, you could see that he was being, you know, forced out. Mm -hmm. Some other people would have left, but Michael didn't leave until he had um, uh, left with honor. He did tell me something once, and you know, he was a modest guy, but he did tell me um, this, and I'll, I'll repeat it here. Um, he probably will not want me to, but I'll, I'm going to do it anyways. He said he had a 99% success rate, average four sessions. But, but as he said, it was pseudo co and coprisa, so it, it really wasn't. Co <laughs> because if it was co and coprisa, you couldn't be successful. Yeah.